Well, you may or may not have seen my video where I took my battery out for the winter, but uh, it's time to put it back in, and we've got the Victron uh, Blue Smart Charger. I'm going to be plugging it in and seeing where our, our power was. It was close to 100% when we put it in here. They say to store it between 80 and 100%, I think somewhere in there. And uh, we're going to see what we have to do, and then we're basically in the middle of March, so we're I'm going to put it back into the camper. Next year, I may not take it out. I don't know. We had one extreme spell where we, we got down to single digits and a little bit below zero for about a week. But other than that, probably could have just left it in there, but I just wouldn't take a chance this year and take it out. So we'll see how well this works, and uh, I'll get back with you. So got it turned on, and you can see here. It's actually not down too far, down to 13.6. It was when I first plugged it in. It is taking the 15 amp charge right now, which I love about a lithium battery, is it can take that big time juice. And like I say, what, it, what that will do is that will actually scale down as it gets closer to, the, to charge, full, charge full. So hopefully we'll get this thing up to about 14. And the 14 volt range probably 14.4 if I can get it that far and uh it shows it's in the bulk right now so we'll see how that goes see how much time it takes it probably won't take very long at that 15 amps now surprisingly that took a lot longer than I thought it's the charge has been on there for three hours and 41 minutes and according to this it has it's charged 55 0.80 amp hours into the battery so it was a lot lower than I thought it would be and we currently have 14.20 and you can see the current has gone from 15 amps down to 1.9 it's gradually going down you can see this curve here when it gets the bulk done and it goes into absorption absorption charge and stays on that and uh it's almost full and that'll finally drop to almost nothing there that way we'll know it's completely full so surprisingly enough like i say when i took this out of the camper this year it was close to probably 90 95 percent but uh it's dropped a lot just sitting here which is surprising to me we'll uh get it fully charged now and then uh try to get it into the camper one thing you want to look at is it looks like this is actually does do your gauging. When we started this, this white line was way down below the half point. And uh, it actually does show right here with a little bit of a gray area at the top. I believe that's where it's completely full. So this app does show a little more than I thought it did. Now I had to pull all my stuff out of my cargo area here. And I went ahead and pulled my bags off that was protecting my terminals from getting crossed up. So we're going to bring it up here, fully charged, and hook it to the red terminal and then the black terminal. I'm going to see if we can get our sockets together for that now. So I've got that all back hooked up. Again, do the positive first, then put the negative on, and you'll get a little, get a little spark when you do your negative. So don't. Oh. Don't be too alarmed to just get that on there and get that tightened down as tight as you can. And we've got our pull noodles back in the front and the side here. I'm gonna put this back together. I've already gone inside. I've verified my Victron controller is, is set up properly. Had to do an upgrade on the app for that. And uh, after running that about two or three times, I finally got that to work right. And it looks like we're getting good readings now. And uh, I'll pack this stuff back in here. And then we'll go inside and just make sure everything works properly. So as you can see, I turn on my Victron controller. And this time, instead of monitoring the charge, it's monitoring my shunt that's actually in the up by the battery. So there you go. You got 100%. What I did do, I'll show you here. I went into settings here under the battery. Made sure it's still set at 100 amp hours. And I went ahead and synchronized I knew my battery was 100% so I went ahead and hit the synchronize and that makes sure it tops it off and tells you exactly that your battery was at 100% so it has a point to to go from so we're looking pretty good and uh we still have some freezing weather ahead of us here
here in Kentucky, but I think I'm going to be okay. One of the things I wanted to make sure was that my solar system still worked properly when I hooked all that back up. And if you see right there, it's a cloudy day, but we're drawing, we're actually picking up 0.4 amps for the solar right there. Actually three now, it's dropping down. So went ahead and went through my settings. Sets at 100%, which that's not that accurate. And this is overall amp hours here. And then I, my battery's sitting at 13.9 according to this. Again, I don't trust this thing too much other than I do like seeing what my solar panels are putting out. So that's the main thing on that one there. And of course, I've got my lights on. I'm going to run through a few checks just to make sure a few things are working in here before I call it a day. But I've got everything packed back into that set up outside. My, if we have any colder days, I think we might get down to 27 at some point. But uh, it's inside the camper. I'm not too worried about that. And we hope to get this thing out camping pretty soon. So that's why we wanted to get the battery in here. Get the roof put out because that's something you want to take out every once in a while and make sure it's clean and dry all winter long you have all that moisture going up in there so i want to make sure i get that when we got a sunny day and get that done so that's about all i have on this video this is a just a quick how to put that battery back in if you put it up for storage so hope this helped you out and we'll talk to you again on one of these rv shorts